Hello, everyone. This is getting down towards the ends of the domains that I have figured out, but this is going to be the trade domain for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. So without further ado, the abilities you're going to get, well, I guess the, the, the spells you're going to get, at first level are Charm Person and Expeditious Retreat. At third level, Enhance Ability and Suggestion. At fifth level, Calm Emotions and Protection from Energy. At seventh level, Dimension Door and Guardian of Faith. At ninth level, Dominate Person and Teleportation Circle. At first level, the special abilities you're going to get are Bonus Cantrip. You gain the Prestidigitation Cantrip. And that's always fun to say. I love that, uh, that spell. At first level, you also get Skills of the Trade. You can choose two of the following skills to be proficient in. Intimidation, Perception, and Persuasion. At second level, you get the Channel Divinity Barter ability. You gain advantage on all skill rolls associated with making a deal or trading or getting yourself out of a jam. And that's probably going to last for about a minute. Channel Divinity at sixth level, False Coin. You can summon 1d100 coins of random denominations from your god's plane of existence. These coins last for a number of hours equal to your cleric level, and then they will fade and return to their home plane. So I came up with this idea because I was picturing, you know, a merchant giving like a vendor, you know, oh, here's 50 coins, you know, can, can I have that, uh, you know, artifact there, or item, or whatever. And then you walk down the road, and then that guy's counting his coins later that day, and they just kind of disappear in his hand. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea. At 8th level, words are greater than the sword. Once per long rest, you can convince a creature not to attack you. You can do this twice at 14th level. You know, that's, you know, per long rest as well. At 17th level, merchant extraordinaire. You can spend your inspiration to get a very good deal with a merchant or to make someone buy more of a product than they actually want or desire. So again, it's sort of revolving around the idea of selling things and trading things and being a merchant and uh, traveling from place to place. I have a little bit of overlap there with the travel domain that I did earlier, but it seemed to kind of make sense. A uh, person that's trading or being a merchant is going to be doing a lot of travel. And uh, probably the god, it might be the same god in your domain, you know, travel and, and merchant, depending on how you want to design it. But, uh, but yeah, that is the trade domain, and I'll talk to you later.